what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix eboot.pin file not found in your shared ps4 whenever i try to open any game in my shared ps4 this error is showing again and again you can see so in this video we will talk about the error for shared ps4 as you can see guys i have uh, two version of shared ps4 and uh, i try to open it so shared ps4 version 02.1 wip and shared ps4 uh, version 0 0.3.0 .0. so you can face the error uh, in this version of shared ps4 so you can see but whenever i try to open any game in this ship ps4 so for example i try this one so you can see i'm facing black screen with vulcan error so what is this error in this video i will tell you and i will show you about the error how to fix it i close it but i show you my uh, cpu first i go to my task manager task manager go to task manager and go to performance so guys you can see i have uh, xeon cpu and cores for guys i have an old cpu uh, this is why i'm facing the error guys if you have an old cpu uh, then uh, you can't fix this error uh, because uh, uh, shared ps4 requires uh, uh, avx and avx2 a sport cpu for example i go to my xenia so this is my xenia emulator i open it so you can see xenia error your cpu does not support avx so my cpu does not support avx this is why i will face the error for my shared ps4 so to fix the error you need to upgrade your cpu if you have an old cpu then you cannot fix the error without AVX Sport CPU. So this is the only way to fix the error for shared PS4. And I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like it, then please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.